Praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody. Thank God for another day in His presence. Thank God for seeing the month of November. We bless His name and we appreciate His effort over every one of us. Today, November 1st, Tuesday, the open heavens for today's topic says, Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Our memory verse is taken from Proverbs chapter 24, verse 17. Proverbs 24, verse 17. Rejoice not when thy enemies falleth, and let not thy hearts be glad when he stumbleth. I pray the Almighty God will help us. Like the song I sang the other time, Anywhere Jesus went. He was busy doing good. Don't laugh or don't rejoice when your enemy falls. Be an encourager to him or her. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. A Bible passage is taken from Proverbs 24, verse 17 to 18. Proverbs 24, 17 to 18. Rejoice not when the enemies, enemy falleth, and let not thy heart be glad when he stumbleth. Lest the Lord see it, and it displease him, and it turn away his wrath from him. Pray the Almighty God will help us. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. God's standards, God's standards sometimes appear tough to life. God's standards sometimes appear tough to life. But when God adhered to them, you will soon discover that they ultimately work in your favor. One of such standard is in Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. Matthew 4, Matthew 5, verse 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. I pray to Almighty God will give us the grace to obey this Bible passage in Jesus' name. With God, all things are possible. He said, you should love your enemies. Believe me honestly. If you really have enemies and know them, you will agree with me that loving them will be a hard thing to do. Yes. But with Christ in us, we can do it. He said, I can do all things through Christ. You strengthen me. It's the strength of Christ that can do that in us. Nevertheless, you must love them. In verse 45 of the same Matthew chapter 5, the Lord said, that ye may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. God will not say because somebody is a sinner, I will not allow rain to touch their land. No. He, he, he gives everything freely. In other words, if you don't love, if you don't love your enemies, then you are not a child of God. If you laugh at your enemies in their day of calamity, then you are not a child of God. 
That is why you cannot make fun of your enemies when things are going badly for them. It is an attribute of the devil, it's not of God. Worst is if you are cursing the fellow and praying that things go bad for him. At least you are abusing or cursing the person, your enemy, that things will go worse for that person. No, don't do that. It's bad. You cannot do that and still call yourself a child of God. Basic. In Romans chapter 12, verse 14 to 15, the Bible says, Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice. And weep with them that weep. I pray the Almighty God will help us to obey this Bible passage in the name of Jesus. Naturally, if you are a genuine born again child of God, it's, it's as easy as ABC. The Bible says, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. If they are born again, they won't do such evil to you. Don't rejoice about their calamity. Pray the Almighty God will help us in Jesus' name. The passage did not say rejoice when your enemy is weeping or weep when only your friends are weeping. No. Should there be days when your enemy is weeping? Be there to comfort him or her. Yes, that's your rule as a child of God. Pray for them and their weeping will end soon. Don't be happy, don't be happy at the fall or calamity of someone else. That is not an attribute of a child of God. The Bible reading says that if you rejoice at, the, at a person's downfall, God will be displeased with you. So, please, as you can do to yourself, to your children, please make sure you do not rejoice when your enemy fall. Be in the same shoe with them, encourage them, and tell them about the love of Christ to every humanity. Don't annoy God. So, if you are rejoicing when your enemy is in bad situation, you are annoying God. So, and it is not good for you to annoy God as this child. The key point today says, don't laugh when your enemies fall. Don't laugh when your enemies fall. Rush to him or her. Help. Any help you can render to make him be on knees or her feet back, make sure you do, either publicly or privately. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you once again. The grace to be a friend, even to our enemies. Father, release on us in Jesus' name. The grace not to laugh when our enemies is falling or has problem. Release on us. Oh, give us the grace to pray for them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray.